Hey YouTube, what's going on? Zero Magnum X here. This is a deck profile update for me. This is the Gold Paladin deck. If you hadn't noticed, you're probably looking at a very different starting Vanguard. Okay, I believe his name is Black Dragon Whelp. He has a specific red ride chain up into this grade 3, which is Spectral Duke Dragon. Okay, so I love the ride chain idea, so we're going to go over the deck. Uh, we're going to come up, we're going to go over the triggers first. I have six critical. I have six draw because I think Gold Paladin are a deck that benefit from more draw than anything else. And four heal. The grade one lineup, we have one Halo Shield Mark. I'm going to run a playset whenever I get him. I just don't have him right now. We have four Garath. Four of the other guy for the ride chain. He becomes an 8,000 beater whenever he's on top of Dragon Whelp. I can't think of his name offhand, but he's pretty good. Uh, and whenever you ride on top of him, you can search the top seven cards of your deck for either Black Knight or Black Dragon Knight Vortimir, I think it is, or Spectral Duke Dragon. It's top seven, which is especially good because in that way it allows you to find what you're looking for for your ride chain. Okay, we have two of these like Thunder Horse guys. Uh, they're they basically soul charge a gold paladin from your hand whenever it hits the you know battlefield. The idea was to keep the consistency for the ride chain, but it doesn't at all. So those are instantly going to become two Slago Daggers. I'm just letting you guys know it's horrible. Don't use it. Um, if you miss your chain, you miss your chain. That's just all there is to it. Okay, next we have the player of the Holy Axe, Nimue. Nimues are going to become the other three Halo Shield marks. So that's why they're there. They're definitely going to become marks, and that's just all there is to it for the deck itself. Um, I just don't have them right now, so I'm filling in with something that can superior recall. Okay, let's move to the Great Twos. I have two Vivian. Not sure if she's going to make the final build or not yet. But she's there for right now because she's useful in this build. Okay, then we have what will be three of the Knight of Superior Skills. I believe that's his name. Yeah. Okay, he'll be three instead of four. Then we move to Trip. I have two Trip. So that will probably also move to four. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm debating between having two Vivian and two of her or all four Trip. I, I got a test play. And then finally, the Vortimores, they're going to be four of these and only three of the Knight of Superior Skills. So, because this at three, I'm missing it, this part of it a lot through runs. Okay, now the grade three lineup. I have four Garmores. Uh, I just, I think Garmores better than Easel. And I know people are going to disagree with me. Um, at first glance, Easel seems better because it can get ridiculous and it's either, you know, perfect guard or bust and it hits you but the thing is is that most of the time unless you're getting two critical triggers off of her or something like that or two triggers or him sorry constantly think it's a female because of the long hair i apologize i think he's a little inconsistent i don't think i'd want to run more than one of him and that's only to get a few superior calls off and have a, a nice turn <clears throat> I think Garmore is much better because if you need to intercept, he comes out, he counter blasts for two at any time out whenever he hits the Vanguard Circle, not when he has Limit Break, and you put a unit onto the field that you may need replenished. So it's useful. Easel, you have to have Limit Break to use him, otherwise he's just a 10,000 Vanilla. I know how quickly Limit Break can go off in a deck, but that doesn't mean that I personally care too much about it. I've tested him and really... Whenever you call triggers, because it is at random whenever you think about it, because you're looking at the top cards, it's not the greatest. I love the ride chain to be able to superior call two units during mid-game. I don't like it whenever it's late game where I'm calling, you know, triggers when it matters. So he's like a 50-50. The other ones during mid-game whenever I'm using my triggers for boosters, that's fine. Because then eventually I can replace them. But... Whenever it comes to being your grade three lineup, you that I think is 
where you need to be the most efficient with your choices. So I think Garmore Superior, and if you look into the OCG list, Garmore uh, Gold Paladins is what got the top first spot in the recent tournament, the big one that I, I used the website for, which I'll post in the description. It only ran two easels for Garmore, and I can't remember what the other two were. They're probably this guy, Gigantic Crush, or Gigantitech Destroyers, which these guys read that if they're boosted by a Gold Paladin, they get plus 2,000. So they become 20,000 Rear Guards, or even Vanguard, they become 20,000. So even these are really, really good, just as a generic card. My favorite card is Spectral Duke Dragon. Now, I know this profile is going to be much longer than normal. Sorry about that, that flown across the room. But this is because a lot of these are Japanese and I have to explain them. And unlike most people will say, look in the description, I'm going to tell you what they do. Okay, his limit break is pretty awesome. First, if he's got the units for the right chain in the soul, he gets plus 1,000 power. So he gets a boost. He's at 11,000. His limit break reads to where you won't be able to read it because it's in Japanese unless you can understand Japanese and see the quality on the camera. But his limit break reads that at the beginning of the close step for the combat step or whatever it is, whenever this unit attacks, you can pay two, you can stand him, sacrifice three of your gold paladins, and he loses twin drive and gets to attack again. Basically, it's like... You attack with your other dudes around him, and then you attack with him. You pay the limit break cost off three of them, stand him, and then swing again. But you don't have twin drive. So, you only get it like, and it is auto, so it wouldn't make sense to be action. You only get it once a turn, but I think that's enough. Because there's plenty of times whenever I've stood him whenever he's on the board, even at 10,000. Not at 11,000, and you get that one last trigger after your opponent's hand is depleted from three attacks, and then you win the game there. So he's really good. I'm looking for more of him. Look into him if you want more details on the way the chain works. And this is the Gold Paladin deck update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Final notes I am still a Grand Blue player, but I really just like Spectral Duke Dragon. I have no idea why. I, I just love the card. I, I saw it and I absolutely love it. I love using it. It has awesome artwork. Uh, I'm not a fan of dragons normally. I just like this. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy. The Grand Blues are the same if you're looking for that. And Zero Magnum X out. Apologies for the very, very long deck profile. Peace.